I'm asking you, is the Old Testament from a different God or the same God? The same God. So the same God as the New Testament, right? Yeah. So the same God of the New Testament sanctioned baby killings, sanctioned no, ki your Allah murderers. Your Allah did that. <laughs> so you're saying my Allah is in the Torah? My Allah is in the Torah. Surah, surah 3, 3, No, 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 I'm talking about the Old Testament. No, no, no. Surah 3, 3. I'm talking about the Old Testament. Is Why it from you? your God or not? Surah 3, 3. Is the Old Testament, you, you already admitted from your God. that the Old Testament is from the same God. And, and, who, and who revealed the Old Testament? Allah. Allah revealed it? Yes. The Old Testament or the Torah? Free, free. The Torah. And he revealed the Torah? The Torah, the Torah is the one given to Moses. Different than the Old no, Testament. No, because there's a bit of you saying that the, old, the, the, the Tanakh, the Torah, is the Old Testament in itself. It doesn't say Tanakh in the Quran. It doesn't say Old Testament no, in the Quran. No, this, All it says is Torah. Allah revealed the Torah this and this Allah revealed the Injil. Saying that the, old, the, the, the Torah Why are you going to the Quran when I'm asking you about the Old Testament? Are you, are you, are you embarrassed about the Old Testament? Hold on, are you embarrassed about the Old Testament? No. No, you're not. So you think everything in the Old Testament is the truth, right? From the God? Yeah. But I'll reveal Is it, it from the God? Allah revealed the Old Testament. No, I'm asking you. Forget I'm about Allah you. for a minute. No, but don't ask me. Ask yourself that. Okay, do you believe Allah revealed the Old Testament? Do you yeah. believe that? According you believe that? According to the Quran. No, no, I'm asking you. Do you believe that? According to Surah 3. Free. So, you're, so, so, wait, wait. You're going based on the Quran. Because the Quran. Is your you know, belief based on the Quran no, or the Bible? No, you're, 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 gonna, you're trying to trick me with your questions. You know? oh, oh, you're feeling. Wait, wait. Referring the question back onto you. You're feeling insecure that I'm tricking you based on the Old Testament. When I'm telling you, stick only to the Old Testament. We're going on about the Gospel, yeah, and why, how. We haven't discussed the gospel yet. No, but that's what we'll discuss before you come, uh, come along. No, and, uh, no but I'm talking to you. Muhammad comes with him. Yeah. Uh, he said Muhammad was sinning because he had multiple wives. And I said, okay. So David has multiple David wives. Abraham. Solomon has multiple Abraham. wives. Yeah. All, the, all the previous prophets, Jesus, almost all of them. The New Testament. And Jesus had no wives. So if you have a that's wife, easy. then you're a sinner. <laughs> Even one wife, you're a sinner. So why and Christians don't get married? married. No. Why Where in the Bible? Hold on, hold on. Where in the Bible does it say that you can only have one wife? Yeah. Where's the explicit words? Show me. So Show me the words. When you read the no, no, no. Show it to me from the gospel. Where does it explicitly state that you cannot have multiple wives and you should all only have one wife? You all testimony. Does it, does it exclude words? No, no. Yeah. Because unless you unless that is in the Bible, I would say you're just making up the rules. No, because you want those um, specific words. In, in those, no, no. Like I didn't say specific words. Like I said, show me anywhere in the Bible where it explicitly states you can't have more than one wife. Okay. Well, when you look at Jesus' statement. No, no. Show it to me in the Bible. Yeah. Don't don't give me your opinion. I'm yeah. paraphrasing what Jesus. Don't paraphrase. Yeah. Give me the exact words. We would I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Give paraphrasing. me the words, Which please. Jesus said. What? I know. I know. No, I'm just paraphrasing because it will take time. Jesus said. Um, Which verse? When you obviously when you married to to your wife and you look upon another. Sorry, sorry. When you. You when you're married to your wife and yeah. you look upon another woman with lust, okay, you've already committed other than your wife, yes, yes, you've yes. already committed adultery. Okay, I have no objection so with that. So therefore, I shouldn't go on marrying. But that is woman. that is only looking but at still sinning. Wait, wait, that is looking sinning. at someone yeah, other than your wife. Yeah, but if I've already looked at the other woman, yes, I've already committed sin. But what if you look at your wife? Who's the other wife? Who's yeah, but the other I'm woman? To that wife. Do you know what adultery is? Okay, so, so if you're looking at a, so and I look upon another woman, yeah, with lust, then I've sinned. So I don't go on marriage. But we are not talking about lust here. We are talking about marriage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Marriage, wait, marriage is very different to looking at a woman with if lust. If you've already committed the sin beforehand, you don't go and marry the same woman because you're still sinning. Oh, let me get this right. Let's say you're not married. Yeah. Yes? Then and that's fine. You can marry that same what? woman. Oh, so you can look at it with lust. Yeah, but that, wait, wait, wait. What's wait, adultery? Wait, wait a minute. You commit adultery. Oh, you're all over the place. Calm down. Let's define a few words. Yeah. When you say that you're single and you look upon a woman with lust, but you can marry her because you're single. Jesus was talking about marriage and adultery. Exactly. I want to know what's the difference, according to you. Adultery is when you're married to, yes. to one wife, yes, yeah. and you look upon another one, uh, another woman with lust. Just with lust. That's adultery. Okay. What about having according sex with the her? Bible. What about having sex with her? Is that is that adultery? Well, so well? continue to, to commit sin. Okay. So so David committed sin. That's the Old Testament. I see. Old yeah. Testament. You can't help it, can you? What's wrong with the Old Testament? We go about the New Testament, the New Covenant of is Jesus and the Gospel. Is David mentioned in the New Covenant? You know, instantly. Is Jesus from the line of David? We follow the gospel. Is Jesus from the line of we David? We follow the gospel. And according to your Quran, we have to follow the gospel. Okay. I'll tell you what. You know what? In your well, New Testament. Scripture, you are standing on nothing until you uphold the Torah and the gospel. Okay. What, what, the gospel what about in the what New Testament? When, when in the New Testament it says, you to follow every scripture is, is God breathed. You, all scriptures you don't know. You don't know that verse. All scripture is God breathed. All scripture. Yeah, I agree. All okay. the whole Bible is God from God. Exactly. So why do you have a problem with the Old Testament? Then? Because you have to look at the Old Testament and the New yeah. Testament. The New ah. Testament fulfills the Old Testament. Do you okay. understand what I'm saying? So the Old Testament is from the same it's God, false, right? False. Same God. Okay. okay. Now I want to know. According to you, is is David? Do you understand is David, the concept? Wait, is no, David, do you understand the concept? Did David commit adultery? No, but do, you, do you understand our concept? What do you call that? We follow the gospel, and the gospel fulfills the Old Testament. No, you follow it, right? 
right? Yeah. So it, every time I bring up yeah, the Old Testament, you seem to exactly, somehow lose a bit. I'm trying to say to you, we follow the gospel and the, the New Testament fulfills the Old. So we, we follow the so, New Testament. So you're saying the Old Testament is now reduced to just history, that's it? Is that what he's saying? No, no, say yes or no. Yes. Oh my God. But that's not according to your New Testament. <laughs> according to your New Testament, every scripture yes, is good for training, is good for teaching, is good for... So you're going against the New Testament. Listen, this is why we have the Torah in our Bible. Yeah, for references. I was being, but you being said it's just reduced listen, to history. Listen. That's what he just said. You just said and admitted it's reduced to history. That's it. Because it's shame But then the New Testament goes against you because the you, New Testament says believe. every scripture is good that's the thing. in learning and training no, x no, y and z you, you know you know exactly what i'm trying to say to you but you're trying to trying to act silly i don't know why you're trying to do that. i'm quoting your bible but the new if you think that is no, silly then you should take it up with your god the new testament fulfills the old testament it's simple as that so if it fulfills it no, no, when you said fulfills it does that mean that Jesus you don't have to rely to on the, the law you came to fulfill it how so do we fulfill the, now, how do we fulfill the law by love <laughs> love thy neighbor that fulfills yeah, the whole entire law what does fulfilling the law mean yeah Fulfilled it means you're because you're, they don't do the law anymore. Within the whole law, uh, James two ten says, if you break just one law, you you fill them all. You know what I'm saying, but love fills the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Wait a minute, Jesus said, if you change even a jot, I agree. Yes. So how how do well, we? No no wait, hear me out. Even if you change a single I dot, I agree. Yes. Yeah yeah. You will be called what? The last. The, the last, the, the, the least of the, of the kingdom. The least in the kingdom of yeah. heaven. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. A bad thing. Jesus said so how do we fold the whole laws? So what, so what do you do? Is it simple? Wait a minute. What do you do with regards to the New Testament? Yeah, but love fulfills the law. What do you mean what love? Do you know what love is? Do you know love? Yeah, love is many yeah, different forms of love. Love fulfills the law and that's yes. Christianity okay. for you. It's, you kill, it's killing... It's real law, all, all these laws. It's, but love law. Law. It's, it's killing an innocent man love? No, listen. If it's I killing an innocent man if love. If I left my neighbor, yeah, yeah, which is you, I wouldn't steal from you, I wouldn't kill you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, commit your, uh, what was it? Um, co commit your, I'm your, not your neighbor, you do it. Okay. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, let, I wouldn't do anything bad. Let me say, do you love Jesus? Jesus? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you love Jesus? So, love fulfills the Lord. That's fine, that's fine. Do you love Jesus? Yeah. Do you think Jesus loves you? Yeah. Okay, if you love both, yeah, dog, if, you, if you love each other, no, 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 I'll give you, I'll give you a hypothetical situation. Let's say you were there during the time of Jesus. Yeah. Yes. The woman on the and cross. And you, no, not not the woman on the cross. No, sorry, woman or whatever. And you had the ability. Let's say you were someone who was powerful enough to have the ability to save Jesus. Would you save Jesus? What do you mean, have the ability to save Jesus? Which part of that you don't understand? <laughs> if I had, if, if I you had the ability to save Jesus. Would you save him? Knowing the fact that if you save him... No. You know, oh, so you don't no, love him then? Jesus would have See paid, what I mean? No, because Jesus would have told me his mission. He, oh. he would have told me that he came to die. Ah, do no, don't, don't say what Jesus would have told no, you. No, that's what Jesus says. He, that he came, literally he came from heaven to die. That's oh, him. So you're saying you wouldn't save him? But that's his mission. Are you saying you wouldn't save him? But that's his mission. That's fine. We know his mission. I'm asking about you. No, no. You're misunderstanding. If can. Jesus is coming to tell me that he's he's coming, he's coming to die and rise, I'm not going to stop it from happening. No, Jesus was begging God not to not to, not to, not to take, take, the take the cup away. Yeah. Uh, sorry, take the cup away from him. God sent him yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus was begging God to save him from the cross. Yeah. Prophesied that he's coming to die. So why did he why did he beg God to save him? Point of Jesus Christ coming to die. Why did he beg God in Matthew? Why did he beg him? You know what he did. On his head, on his forehead, he fell on his face, like on the ground, yes. and he begged God to save him from the cross. And what happened? What, what happened? What happened? Saved, God rejected his prayer. What, what, what happened? <laughs> That's what happened. Not by your will. God rejected his prayer. Not by my will, but your yes. will. <laughs> then he died. What kind of a God rejects? But then he died. What kind of a God rejects not his own son's prayer? But your will. Yes. So going back to the question, would you save Jesus? So you see this man earlier said he loves Jesus. Why now I told him if he had the ability to save him, he wouldn't save him. But why the very person he says he loves, he would not save him. Because you know why? Because he's in, he's in a cast 22 situation. If he saves Jesus, then his, then his salvation is at risk. <laughs> and if he doesn't save Jesus, then what is at risk? Is the fact that he really loves Jesus. You're wrong, because Jesus came, he God, Jesus told the us what he's going to do. Why did he so beg God to him? save him? If why would I stop him? him? Why would I stop him? Why did he beg God why, to save him? him? Because you can't, stop because him you do not, not really love him. him. That's why. I'm not going to stop him. You don't love him. That's why. He came to die. You know what? He's called the Son of Man. If I had the ability to save Jesus, I would save Jesus. Okay? And these Christians say they love Jesus more than us Muslims. But yet they wouldn't save him. Yet they would let him die. A very embarrassing death. 1933. He says Jesus will die and rise. Why are you going back to the Quran? 
every time you come to the Bible, you run to the Quran. I'm trying to prove my point from your book. Which book do you know about the Bible, about the Quran? I'm trying to prove to you that Jesus in the Quran says he's going to die and rise. That's what. But Jesus in the Quran also says that he's not God. He's the Word, and the Word is God. Is the Bible Word of God? The Word is God. Is the Bible Word of God? Do you worship the Bible? It's Jesus the Word. He doesn't worship the Word. You see, this is the this is the gymnastics of with words you need to do in order to fulfill your dreams about loving Jesus. What you need to first acknowledge is if you had a chance, you'll save him, and that is a real love. Why would I save him? But these Christians say they believe in him. They say I don't love him. I won't save him. But Jesus has already told me his plan. So why would I stop him from doing that? Why did Jesus himself beg God to save him? But he said, not by my will, but your will. How many wills are there? God's will. How many gods are there? When? Which God? I don't believe in that. The one Jesus is praying to? Or Jesus? Oh, the Trinity. Go on. See, you change the subject. You have a problem with the Trinity? No, I don't have no problem. Exactly. So stop being embarrassed about everything I ask you. You got, you got God, you got his word, and you got his spirit. And these three are one. Why did Jesus pray to God if he was God himself? You got God, his word, and his spirit. So why did he pray to God? One God. Yeah, why did he pray? Why did he pray to God? One God. Is it because he was unable to fulfill that prayer of his? Unless and until the Almighty God, who's God? Your will be done. By the way, does Jesus have a God? Your will be done. Yeah, of course, his will is always done. His will is always done. What is the problem with the Trinity? You got a problem with that? It's not changing the subject. It's still about Jesus Christ. Does Jesus have a God? Does Jesus? It's still about Jesus. Jesus is the word, uh, no, no, no. and the word is God. That wasn't my question. Does he have a God? Was the word. Okay, do you have a God? Was with God. Do you have a God? And the word was God. Do you have a God? Jesus is the word. I didn't ask you that. Do you? I'm telling you that. Well, I already heard you. Yeah, but okay, Jesus. Look, Jesus is the word of God. We both agree. Okay, now move on. But the word is God. Sorry. The word is God. Which word? Jesus. Is that the word of God? Is the word of God. Is that God? On paper. There you go. But the, sorry, what did you say? On paper. On paper. Yeah. So you believe that on paper? You worship that on paper. No, I, I believe it. Yeah. Is that the word of God? Is the word of God yeah. Do you worship it? No, I don't worship it. Why not? Is the Quran the word of God? The Quran, yes. So you worship the Quran? No. So why are you asking me some Because you worship the word of God. Yeah, but Jesus. Exactly my point. If that is the word of God, this is the word of God, why you worship one, not the other? Because you know what? You take it literally. Because the word the problem? Son of God, is that literal? Is he a biological son of God? No. Exactly. So what kind of son is he? He's a spiritual Are you a spiritual son of God? God. Yeah. So you and him are no different. Then. Yeah. Exactly. Jesus came so that we might be. One lie, this guy is. No, but Jesus came that we might be like him. We might be like him. That's why he came. Please, please don't tell people to worship you. We have to emulate Jesus. Don't tell people to worship you. No, but no, but those who accept what Jesus does, uh, then we become sons of God. We, we become sons of God. So what's the difference between you and Jesus? Then? What's the difference? What's the difference between you and Jesus? Other than the way he was born, and other the, other than the way you will die. Well, Jesus told me to be Christ-like, to be like him. Can you ever be Christ-like? Be like Jesus. Can you ever be? But can you ever be? Do you know anyone that is Christ-like? Anyone? Give me anyone. Give me one name. I don't know people like. No, no. But are you saying? Are you saying that there is no one who is Christ-like? I don't know. Despite all the millions of Christians out there, there's no one that you can think of who is Christ-like. I don't know who people who are. You know what? If you're going to put your standards to the standards to who who is who and who follows Christ, I mean, you see, you got different people like. Okay, what do you need to be in order? to be Christ like Sorry, who? She was Catholic. Are you saying Catholics are okay with you? But wait, wait, wait. Doesn't doesn't your church doesn't your church consider Catholics as heretics? I'm just saying. Are the Catholics heretics according to your church? I'm saying Christians in general. You know the best example you could give me is of a heretic according to his belief. I'm so, I'm Seriously, talking, I'm talking about Christians in general. Yeah, no, no, but Christians in general are not one single monolithic religion. You know that. Neither is Islam. But the fact remains, you consider Catholics as heretics. Do you not? Do you consider the Pope to be a representative of God? I don't, I'm a Catholic, so I don't follow. I know you're not. That's what I'm asking you. So the only example you could give me is of a person who your church considers as a heretic.